The last two weeks were tough on China's relationship with Africa. Videos that appear to show Guangzhou officials targeting Africans as part of a COVID-19 crackdown went viral. See what the Chinese police are doing to us. See, no house, no way to rest. African nationals from many countries, including Nigeria, reported being evicted from their homes, being forced into quarantine at their expense, and getting denied service at local businesses, including a McDonald's. We spoke with a student living in Guangzhou who was impacted. He asked to remain anonymous for his safety. The virus is starting in China. But some people are saying that we Africans are bringing the virus to China now. Me, I'm quarantined in a hotel. Even if I have been tested negative, I have to be in quarantine for 14 days, which is a quite bad situation. Mostly Africans are quarantined, but other people from Europe, America, and some Asian country, they are free in the country. The videos were shared widely across social media, sparking outrage, especially from Africans on the continent. My initial reaction was 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 anger. I was upset. I was so mad to see China treating Africans this way. I felt like, how long are they going to continue to treat Africans like that? Because this is not the first time. Several consulates tried to intervene on behalf of their nationals. What we are doing this night is to protect all our Nigerian nationality. They are not a criminal. They are not anything. Why are you harassing them? China's foreign ministry has denied any discrimination, calling the situation a misunderstanding. Shortly after, a top African Union official shared Chinese authorities were resolving the issue and emphasized the continent's strong ties to China. But that message didn't smooth things over on social media, where previous cases of racism were being reshared. <laughs> We've also actually seen cases of uh, Chinese mishandling or misbehaving, mistreating Africans on the continent without much repercussions. There was a case recently of uh, a Chinese who was actually literally beating up a worker who came late to work. The treatment of Africans in Wangzhou also put a spotlight on China-Africa relations. China is the continent's largest trading partner and creditor. There is something to be said about the dynamics of um, a little guy partnering with a giant. There's always going to be inequity in that relationship. I think as a continent, we need to learn that um, extractive relationships do not benefit us. Extractive relationships have never benefited us. It's true, they're doing wonderful things in Africa. They're filling the infrastructure gap. They're filling the ICT gap. But that should not mean that you should trample on our identity, you know, make Africans less human. We cannot expect China to do what is in the best interest of Africa. China has a strategy for Africa. What is Africa's strategy for China? And what is Africa's strategy for itself? For now, African countries are focused on preparing for the worst of the COVID-19 pandemic, which is expected to hit the continent harder than other regions. And whether it's accepted or not, China has pledged its support. <laughs>